Good day to you all. Welcome to Moto Misha Mond. This is yours truly, Moto Misha. In this video, we have some breaking MotoGP news. A new rider has been signed to Yamaha for 2022. It's Darren Binder. Wait, who's that? There has been a somewhat mixed response from the MotoGP grid at the news that mid-pack Moto3 rider with incredible flow, Darren Binder, will join the 2022 lineup with the newly formed With You Yamaha RNF Racing Team, formerly Patronas Racing SRT. You know, the same team that produced the likes of Fabio Quartararo and Franco Morbidelli, who are now in factory Yamaha seats for the foreseeable future. This means that Yamaha has their next superstar in the wings of the satellite team waiting to make the jump to the factory team in a couple of years, right? Well, actually we don't really know. We hope so, at least. Binder's time in Grand Prix racing so far has been, well, let's say somewhat lackluster, with only a single win to his name in seven years of racing in the lightweight Moto3 class. At the recording of this video, he currently sits sixth in the Moto3 standings, having taken two poles and two podiums this season. And while he wasn't exactly critical of the decision to make the move to MotoGP, even his brother and cool South African dude at every bar, Brad Binder, a factory KTM rider, said he knows that the challenge will be huge for the 23-year-old. Yeah, yeah, obviously I'd like to help my brother wave rock in, but that step is serious, man. To jump from, what, maybe 60 horsepower somewhere around there, and then, then to go to near 300 is a long way, man, Brad said in a recent interview. So it's a big step going from these little bikes to big bikes. That is obvious, right? I mean, they're really quite different MotoGP bikes. And then adding all the horsepower and electronics makes it so easy to lose control. So for sure, he's got a lot of learning to do. Imagine if MotoGP bikes were street legal. Oh my God. With all those added horsies, you could outrun any cop who tries to pull you over, right? Just with a flick of the wrist. Warning, MotoMisha does not condone running from police as legal action may or may not be taken against the culprit. MotoMisha can neither confirm nor deny participating in the activity of evading police himself, although he definitely could do it if he wanted to. Brad Binder has also said about his brother Darren, I'm confident he can do a good job. He's a bigger kid. I think he can really do a good job in MotoGP, but for sure, it's going to take time to start to understand how everything works. That's my South African accent, by the way. That's a view echoed by Ducati rider and dude who looks like he has a pet snake, Jack Miller, who prior to Binder was the first and so far only rider to have previously made the switch from Moto3 directly to MotoGP, all by having been runner-up by two points in the Moto3 title race rather than mid-pack, like Binder. In fact, Miller is perhaps more enthusiastic than Binder's big brother about this move, insisting that sometimes the chance to race in MotoGP only comes along once in a career, and that you have to grab it when it does. Miller said in a recent interview about the Darren Binder news, sometimes the train only comes along once, and if you get the opportunity, you gotta take it, because it doesn't always come twice. That's a terrible Aussie accent, I cannot do that. Anyway, the elder Binder's KTM stablemates guy who married his stepsister, Miguel Oliveira, and kid in the class who always cussed out the teacher, Iker Lecuona, both pointed to the fact that the younger Binder's debut would come on a Yamaha, a bike that has a reputation for being a good fit for newcomers, fortunately. Oh, by the way, Miguel Oliveira did marry his stepsister. Look it up. Best porn ever! But not every rider on the grid was as enthusiastic about the rap promotion with the traditionally outspoken and cartel kingpin Aleix Espargaro, not afraid to mince his words when describing the bizarre promotion. Yes, I don't really understand anything about this movement. It's not like that I don't like it. I just can't find a reason for it. It's the most bizarre movement I've ever seen in my life. Okay, Aleix, calm down. That may be true, but you know what's more bizarre is the fact that a rider can stay in MotoGP for 10 years and only accomplish two podiums and zero wins. I wonder who that rider could be. <coughs> Alish. <coughs> Spargaro. Ultimately, Darren Binder will make his MotoGP debut on the Yamaha in November with a two-day official test scheduled for Jerez in the days that follow the last race of the season. I guess we'll have to wait until next season to see how this move pays off for Yamaha. And will Darren follow in the footsteps of his brother Brad to become a race winner and eventual factory rider? I sure hope so. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you have stuck around this long, hit that like button, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Until next time, this is Motomisha, checking out. Peace.